Hi guys, so in today's video I'll be doing the Phi MRX calculations and I'll be doing an overview, just an overview of what we'll be covering which is the load case effects and um, in the second order moments and also those Phi MRX calculations that I mentioned. So typical load design cases, what we're looking at is 1.2G plus 1.5Q so you would have used this formula in your design assignments 2 and 3 and we have um, also 0.9G plus WU, which is another load combination um, where we've just got the dead load and uh, wind uplift. So I've got sort of a, um, uh, a frame here that has some sort of deflection where it's swaying and also some sort of deflection in this uh, column here. So that's created through either a P or Q from a dead load or live load and some sort of wind coming in like this which I'll just call W and what I really want to say is that or go over with this example is the um, compression uh, is quite minimal in terms of how much deflection it causes to the beam relative to the wind which causes a lot more sway where we're getting this real delta so the G plus 0.9 WU case um, creates sway but less compression so the point load or if you want to call it um, live load creates the compression really um, overall the second order uh, second order moment sorry is more severe for wind loads so we can sort of see that here